Welcome to the Squad Lounge. Joining us today is Stephen Tan and Angelica Green Barales from Eunice Technology Manufacturers behind the Atari Pong table. This beautiful thing you see right in front of you. Welcome. Thank We're you. We're so happy to have you both. Thank you for having us. <laughs> oh no, God. yeah, no, uh, thanks for bringing this in. Uh, I obviously want to talk about this in just a second, but before we do, Stephen, can you just break down uh, mm -hmm. what uh, Eunice Technologies is and what, uh, what they're all about? Mm -hmm. Okay, Eunice, Eunice Technology is a group of companies headquarters in China. Mm -hmm. uh, we established a Canadian office in 2001, mainly in, in Markham. I'm recruiting uh, uh, designers and mm -hmm. developers of games that can complement my team of engineers in China. Okay. Oh. So that's how we, we complement, and, and that has allowed us to really uh, uh, penetrate North American markets, European markets with mm -hmm. uh, a lot of uh, coin-operated games, which is okay. really our bread and So it's just to fuse the, the, um, the engineering with the software was kind of the, the point of Eunice then. Mm. That, that, that is correct, because if you use Canadian talent, the music, the design, the colors, and, and what they, they learn you know, from colleges and stuff in, in North America, it really complements the engineering well in China, mm -hmm. the, the, you know, the, the prototype makes sense in China, you know, to do uh, sometimes coding or, or basic uh, uh, programming, I think that, that suits us. So yeah. we have a, a talent in North America, that's why we establish a, a market market. That's awesome. Oh, amazing. So like right around the corner from here. Um, now I'm mm -hmm. curious as to how or why you guys decided to, like whose brainchild was this, to take the digital version of something and make it analog like this for Pong? I can answer that one. Yeah. Um, so the idea actually came from Calenfer, which is in Uruguay, okay. uh, and they kind of birthed this idea in 2014, and they love the game, obviously, who doesn't? Yeah. So they wanted to reimagine it, and they made uh, basically like a prototype for themselves, mm -hmm. and it went viral online. And they decided to try to make it into a Kickstarter, which they did, mm -hmm. and then from there, people were like, this is amazing. We yeah. need this in our lives. So basically, um, from that rave, that's when Yuna stepped in and decided to uh, actually create from the demand came a product yeah. exactly you know, to, to add on it uh, I when I saw the Kickstarter campaign you know I I, I love the idea mm. I, I didn't buy a table but I flew to Montevideo Uruguay yeah. to, to make a deal with them oh and crazy so being being the first to approach them and being first to, to get in early to introduce our organization mm. yeah how I could fit in with the invention you know what I'm saying and how I could tell them that hey look I can build 100 tables a day uh -huh. you know what I'm saying right. And uh, and like I, right now, I already have infrastructure to sell to 70 countries, wow. and that's why uh, you know they were very intrigued with this and took us. It's, cra it's crazy just how like um, ingrained in in just just the human culture around the world, mm -hmm. video games and something like Pong is now. So like we're seeing like barcades and stuff, yeah. you know, pop up all over the places as veterans, people making this stuff. How do you see that culture right now? How do you see the mm. expanse of video games with a, even just a casual audience in just like you know mm. a, a party atmosphere and stuff? Something like this is built for party atmospheres, yeah. right? It's true, and the, uh, the the change of bar case, you know, has only been recent. Mm -hmm. I'll say, you know, it started probably as early as five years ago, but there's some major companies right now involved. Uh, uh, Cineplex, for once, created the uh, Rack Room, you know, which is yeah. very well received mm -hmm. by mm -hmm. millennials today. And, you know, when I look at a product, I, I think I look at product that uh, uh, entices this kind of age group, you know, a product that, uh, uh, it's retro for one. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Retro yeah, yeah. right now is also extremely popular. Uh -huh. Yeah, absolutely. Well, it's, it's, it's all of us guys getting older now that are like, we want to relive our, our childhood games, right? Uh, yeah, like we don't need to talk about our age at all. Because <laughs> <laughs> they always happen to bring that up, and it makes me sad inside. But I love this because I feel like this appeals to um, just any kind of demographic. Because with something like this that turns analog, it's, it's Pong, but it's analog. So I feel like if my grandparents came over to visit, mm. they would actually sit down and play this because it's so visceral, like it really is in your face. What kind of demographic are you guys seeing uh, attached to this? I mean, it, we've seen every age. Yeah. It's yeah. one of those things where you know how they say like games like Monopoly is like for all ages. Yeah, yeah. Like this is exactly what this is. Really there's no intimidation when you go up and look at this because you can see everything yeah. that's there. And you have a dial and you have a button and that's mm. essentially it. So really, you know, it goes from kids to people that actually played the game yeah. you know in the, in the 70s when it when it first came out mm -hmm. so it, it's crazy that we've or Eunice has created yeah. something that's just so incredible for everyone to enjoy. Easily three generations. I, yeah. I've taken your trade shows all around the world and I think it has appealed and I've mm -hmm. seen the reaction from the uh, uh, different age group and you know it's been really mm -hmm. so let's something. <clears throat> Let's yeah. look at the table. We'll play yeah. it in just a second. We're almost there. Yeah. Uh, just from the design uh, and what we're seeing in front of us right now, how is this, after Eunice got involved, how is the, you know, it changed from its initial mm. prototype to what we're seeing in front of us right now? 
okay, when when I received the prototype, I remember it was uh, in 2017. Mm -hmm. But uh, I, I I would believe that the product was probably 40, 50 percent done. I would say. Okay. Oh. Um, it, it, uh, for the starters, one of the biggest changes we made to this table was it was using a PVC. You know, oh, right yeah, now yeah. we have changed it to a, a glass. Mm -hmm. The glass that you see, mm -hmm. not on top, but the bottom, is, is a form of like just same as our mobile glass. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. So the uh, you know the, the the ball and pedal, the ball is, is gl gliding in the glass, uh, yeah. supported mm -hmm. by the magnetic technology behind. It. That's that's so that's so genius to like hide because underneath this it looks nuts. Um, uh, we showed it on our crowd control the other day, and it's underneath is just this mechanical craziness. Mm -hmm. Like there's it's actual things moving around, right? It's not digital. This is the digital brought into the real world. Um, so I think we should maybe try it. You really and watch have to try it. Our, like, yeah, you want to kick our butts real quick? Okay. All right, hop oh on. Hop on. <laughs> yeah, but I just love that it's so, like it's a coffee yeah, table. Yes. Look at this coffee table. Where are the controls? Yes. Oh, they're safe from all your all your coffee stains. From yeah, <laughs> from all the. I'm sure you use a coaster, right, Brody? Yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I hope on this one you yeah. use a coaster. Yeah, on this yeah. I would. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Are you ready? I well, think I, so. Wait, first let's explain yeah. that you can actually do a single player as well with this table. Like, you don't need a friend mm -hmm. to play. Good. I don't have any friends, I know. so I can play That's as well. I wanted to make sure that we all, <laughs> all are right. aware of that. Um, this may go bad. This may go okay. bad. Let's let's get into it. <laughs> okay. I love the RGB. RGB everything. All right. Today you got go. a friend. Okay, let's go. Right. <laughs> <laughs> let's see. Okay. Oof. All right. All right. No. Oh no. Okay, but see, Brody, I feel like is very skilled at video games. Do you feel like? Your skills will transfer here? Yes. Oh. I'll learn. I will learn his habits. But what is the. This is my, my Rocket League skills will come in because it's all the uh, rebounds yes. and stuff, right? <laughs> of course. But the tactile feedback of the wheel here. It just feels so, it's so smooth. Like it just. Right, but is this a good tactic to let like the wheel just spin or should you actually hold it and it's control actually, it? It's better when I'm, for me personally, yeah. I barely touch it because oh. the wheel does actually have so much movement as you can see. Okay. So it's better if you just use a couple fingers and then in terms of strategy, mm. don't pay attention to what the other player is doing. Uh. Always focus on where the ball is going So because it's all about trying to imagine where it's going to end up and right. you need to make sure that you're there at the right time. Right, pretty good of course. So. <laughs> I just feel like, like just looking at this, I feel like one of those, you know when you like open a lifestyle magazine and like in faster? like yes. IRL now, oh, oh. I just feel like sitting in my living room and just having friends about this would be so impressive point. even if they don't play games at all. Absolutely. Just to like decorate the living room, this is the centerpiece. Absolutely, yeah. This it's it. it's definitely the, it's going to be the, the talk of the town in terms of having okay. friends over. At it, least the talk of the block. Can we, can we sure, talk about how enough, like, right? yeah. yeah. Can we talk about how hard this will get if, like, you're in a live environment, people are shouting, you know, you're having fun, like, this This will get tricky. I'm already so focused. Well, it's a <laughs> one point to win, right? Tie game? <laughs> oh, we call, oh, it is tie. All right, let's go. Let's come down to this, and then Marissa, you'll have to give it a chance. Okay, okay, I'll, I'll like, jump in. But it, He's good. We're getting some good Steven rallies is, here. I know Steven's focused oh, right now. Oh, no, <laughs> I overshot. Good so game. the table GG's. operates on Mayhem? Actually, if you play yeah, her, you're so playing. underneath, there's yeah. a stay, little Stay, arm. I want you to play her. Okay. That moves. Would you like to try? Sure, I'll go. Oh, perfect. Yeah, great. Okay, so then, all right, yeah. all right. We're doing a whole um, dipsy sorry, do. So, so it operates on magnets. Yeah. So there's magnets underneath that actually pull everything around, um, and it's basically super strong, so keeps everything nice and balanced. So, the question I have for this is like, is I guess anybody could. Um, I guess you're probably breaking warranty at that point, but like you could probably 3D print, you know, a bunch of different uh, like pong balls as well, and kind of personalize right, and it we, too, we right? have done it, and you know, we have done some customization <laughs> for beer companies, for example. Yeah. Uh, uh, things like that, and one of the things that you do can customize would be the paddles and balls, and you know, on the on the sides as well. To brand it to your own stuff. To that's that's it, cool. Yeah. Is that, so I assume that's probably a part of like you know strategy is to personalize this for for any of the customers and consumers that you have in there, right? We, we're aiming for more <laughs> uh, commercial quick. clients right now. You know, in terms of because usually when you customize something, you do need a somewhat of volume too. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, one thing uh, that stands out, of course, um, uh, is that you're using a dial as, as opposed to like a joystick. What was the design choice there instead of of, you know, joystick like you'd use in a, a casual, or sorry, a standard arcade unit. You know, joystick. You know, uh, joystick is based on the original game, where I find that it's almost 100% reactive, 100% responsive. Mm -hmm. But I think you just play with me. You, you, you would once you get used to the jock, you will feel there's a, a huge element of skill involved. Right? Yeah. 
And one of the things when I first saw the table is the ability for it to compete, oh. right? Mm -hmm. And I really find that with the, with the jog and how you're controlling it, the, the, the skill set is, is is definitely a lot higher. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, just yeah, yeah. Hundred percent joystick. You know no, that's true. Oh, like, as I said, it feels so good. <laughs> you are getting wrecked, by the way. Twice. <laughs> um, <laughs> I feel like she's had a lot of practice with this still. Um, now, <laughs> now, obviously, like there's this game's been around for a while, so yeah. there's a lot of replayability. But something we're actually talking outside of this is is when it comes to co the competitive nature of this. Instantly, that's where my mind went, right? Just being in esports and stuff. Um, what, have you seen any kind of push for for that market, like an esports mm. market? And like, have you seen tournaments and stuff pop up for this at all? Yes, or? Yeah. Yeah, well, like uh, uh, well, I would say in a major way because uh, um, you know being in the, in the gaming industry for so long, not every game you can run a tournament. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it has to be uh, competitive. Mm -hmm. It has to be a game that hate on and a lot of repeat play value and uh, social aspect of it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, uh, like I said, uh, Pong is unlike others. I have run tournaments that uh, the, the the maximum person is 200 over people. I know that some of my clients have just run reason tournaments, Twitch it live, and things mm -hmm. like that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they, they run it uh, right now like a tennis, you know, style. You know, saying a double knockout or, or single elimination. Okay. And, yeah, and yeah. some have given away major prizes too, like a, 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 a rack room. I think gave away a, 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 a table. A whole like table. A whole oh, table. I needed to be that's in that the, tournament. I know, that's oh, like no. Only, only a five-dollar yeah. entry, and it was sold out in minutes. Yeah. Oh yeah, easily. Well, the thing with something like this that I need a game that has replayability, and I feel like with this. Like you're gonna keep coming back to it for more yeah. every what? single time the because you want like, to beat that. What have you th have you thought of other like game modes then? Because as you said, yeah, it's yeah. like we can just come back and keep playing this forever. Yeah. But like, did other game modes ever cross your mind in in jumping into? Or is it just like, nah, we're going core pong? Um, in terms of uh, you know, we we open to, to all games and, mm -hmm. and retro right now. I say is something I'll be looking for. Mm -hmm. But even this technology that's invented by uh, you know by my partner, that there are other potential products that you can you can churn from this mm -hmm. for sure. Mm -hmm. Now uh, I guess we, we got to ask because I yeah, want one of these. Got, I know. <laughs> how much how much is one of these gonna uh, retail for? And like, can, is there a difference from consumer and business um, uh, it purchases? Doesn't, it doesn't hurt too bad. So it's uh, three thousand US. Yeah. Uh, so that's about four thousand Canadian, mm -hmm. yeah, um, yeah. and that's for the consumer model. So this one is made to go in your home yeah, right? yeah, yeah. because it has all of the course. coffee table functions. Uh, but there are two other coin-operated models available that oh, are okay. more for the arcade or the barcade setting. So um, yeah, so that'll be they're more heavy duty. They're definitely going to cost more because they're going to be used constantly by everybody coming. Yeah, in well, yeah, you, yeah. You, you got rowdy people. You're, yeah, yeah, well, you I'm got to rowdy it. people in my house too. But yeah, the out in the wild is a little bit different, right? Yes. Yeah. I mean, uh, I do want. Want to play Brody? Do we have time? Can okay. we just All like right. quickly? All right, I gotta uh, you're gonna, you're gonna go? Okay. All just right. like one time because I feel like you're too good. I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm so sorry. sorry. You're, you're Don't very be good. Sorry. No, no. You I, I, you're, you were showing me. You were showing me what was up, and I appreciate it. All right. Okay, you ready? Are we ready? Do we have commentary? <laughs> like, <have> you, <laughs> <laughs> we're just gonna start casting pong. Cat, yeah, pong cast. Yo, let let me know if you see tournaments going on. Let me know. I'll, I'll cast some pong. Will do. Oh no! Oh, it's because I'm not ready for your rebound. Yeah, you gotta you gotta get ahead of the game. Here. Uh, Gotta focus on the hole. Right, right, right. The, the, dang it. it! I'm not good at this. Oh no! Ah, that was a cheap okay. shot! <laughs> We're just not paying attention. I learned some things about the corner, so. Oh no! You learned some things. Oh, like you don't have to go completely Sometimes into the you corner? You go for the corner and you miss it. Yeah. You know, the thing. Take the risk and you miss it. Yeah, but the corner oh. can get some crazy shots like that. Oh. You had the right idea there. You, you knew where you were going. Uh, yeah, I just had to get an idea. Okay, okay, okay. She, she okay. knew where she was going, oh. but. She didn't know how to get there. Rip. Brody, just let me. Oh, is that it? You was got it, two, was though. Was it supposed to be that easy, Sorry, guys? one. Have you ever <laughs> seen anybody so bad at this game? Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. That's that was that was brilliant. Well, thank you guys so much <laughs> yeah. for this. This was this was amazing. Um, an RGB. That I, I like 100. shiny things. So oh that got gosh. me the most. <laughs> uh, cannot wait to master this. I will eventually. So the next time you guys see me, I'll be a pro. All right, I'm ready. Uh, thank you guys so much for coming and for Brody for beating me. Uh, next time, uh, please come back and we'll play again. Sounds great. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, thank you.